What is going on here? Where in the world? And why in the world? It's my engine outside. Sorry guys, I've been a little MIA. This is one reason why. This is obviously the Montero engine. 2.6 liter G54B. Uh, not exactly sure what was going on with it. So I said, screw it. I'm pulling it out. <laughs> and I'm actually going to drop in the 2.6 liter G54B turbo engine from the Starions. Uh, Mitsubishi Starion, Conquest, Chrysler Conquest, whatever you want to call it. And in the meantime, while I'm doing that, I'm also fixing my buddy's Suzuki Samurai engine. Not really fixing it. He blew his timing belt, but I told him I'll yank it all apart. I still need to replace that seal, but every other seal on this engine has been replaced. Apparently these engines don't have freeze plugs, so I don't have to worry about that. But back to this guy. This engine, uh, I left it idling at work one day, warming up, you know, maybe five minutes. When I took off, it was blowing smoke like crazy. Uh, I have no idea if it's the rings, if it's maybe just some valve seals got corroded, dried up, whatever. But if you guys are interested in doing the same swap, 2.6 liter G54B turbo engine from the Starion, then I guess hang on. I'll show you what I've learned so far. Here we are inside of my garage workshop real quick. Like I said, this is my buddy's engine, Suzuki Samurai, the head. Uh, while I had it out, I ported all this. This is the exhaust side, gasket matched it. Intake side was pretty close, probably like 16th. Yeah, one sixteenth off from gasket match, so I just left it. I put new valve seals. Uh, I gotta readjust all these. Uh, but I've been lagging it a little bit. He's in no rush, I'm in no rush. Oh yeah, throwing a 3838 Weber also. Some people say it's too big. Some people say it's fine. I guess we'll find out. But back to this, this is the intake manifold for the Mitsubishi Starion engine. First things first, like I said, uh, this is what I've learned, that the Monteros actually have this uh, throttle linkage that doesn't come for the Starions. So I just cut one out. I have uh, some scrap pieces and this is probably what like eighth inch steel so cleaned it up cut it out to the shape it needs to be this linkage is actually for the transmission when you need a downshift i forget exactly what they call it but i've been calling it the kick down kick down cable because there is a cable connected to here Oh yeah, and this is only for the automatic transmissions. So, if you have an automatic, you're gonna have to fabricate one of these. Pretty simple. Then I just uh, added it onto here. Everything fits in pretty tight. That is part one. Part two, let me go show you. Oh yeah, so I painted and cleaned this all up since I have everything apart anyways. This is from the Starion throttle body injection. I have everything else in some of these bins. So yeah. All right, this is part two, or 
number two, I guess you could say. So this is the factory Starion oil pan. And if you look at this, you're like, why are you doing all this? Uh, well, this is what you're gonna have to do if you're putting it into the Montero or even the Mighty Max because you need the oil pan from those vehicles to work. So this is the orientation for the Montero or actually both of them. That's the Montero. This is the Starion. This is where the front of the block is. That's the front of the block. And originally the dipstick goes over here. And on this side, I guess it's this vent tube from what I've read up. This is to relieve a crankcase pressure. So that way you don't get all those uh, leaks through your gaskets and stuff. So what I'm doing, as you could probably see and tell, is I'm gonna get these welded onto the Montero oil pan. Everything's pretty much ready to get welded. I actually don't have a welder, so I'm waiting on my buddy to let me know when I can take it to him. So I cut him out almost as exact as I could. Obviously, I'm not trying to cut out too much because you don't need anything leaking, you don't need no weak points. So, along with that, let me turn this the same way. You're going to need the pickup tube. The pickup tube for the oil. And this is the front of the block, rear of the block. On the rear of the block, the tube will go this way. On the rear on the block on the Starion, it just goes from here to here. Or actually, I think this one's, oh no, the Montero has it in the middle. I'll see if I can show you on the engine real quick, but you need to swap out the oil pans and either get these welded onto the next oil pan. Uh, this is for the dipstick, so yeah, I'm actually, not doing it exactly like this one would have been but because it is such a larger oil pan you can see it's not really gonna matter too much when it shows low on that dipstick i'll still have extra oil but i'll just add some so i never run out let me see if i could show you the oil pickup on the actual block there you go this is the g54b for the mitsubishi starion turbo version obviously it's upside down and uh one quick thing i'm going to show you right now real quick is that this engine has oil squirters since it is the turbo version more high performance more heat boost all kinds of boost um so yeah that's one thing you will notice is the big difference on this engine as you can see i swapped them out arp bolts for main studs right here i also have the head studs on this one on my mighty max also but like i was uh, originally planning to show you this is the original oil pickup for the Montero. This is the oil pickup for the Starion. Obviously, this one goes in deeper than this one because of the pans. And that is why, well not just because of the deepness, but or depth, deepness. <laughs> Not just because of the depth, but the location also. Unless you guys want to cut and weld this, 
and fabricate it to match over here in order to keep this then I guess you guys could do that too but also one thing I wanted to show you is that this would originally bolt up to the main main bolts right here but since I swapped them out for the ARP bolts I will not be using them and this is what the original bolts look like so oh boys come on so yeah this would be in there like that and the pickup would bolt onto here I obviously don't need them so I don't need to worry about them but star quest guys I have heard that some of them keep these two and just swap all these other out for the actual ARPs but yeah that's uh the oil pickup before after so hopefully I actually have no idea if I had to change anything else mechanically but comparing both engines it didn't look like I had to and yes I still do have the balance shafts I know a lot of the guys get rid of them but eh, they're in there I'm not gonna struggle with it I did uh, change out well all the gaskets for this timing chain tensioner water pump gasket I do got ARP bolts and I also changed the valve cover the colors for it so these two they kind of resemble my factory paint on the Mighty Max and that's what this engine was originally intended for but the Montero's engine is going down before the Mighty Maxes. That's probably because I rebuilt the Mighty Maxes. Uh, well, actually, not full rebuild. On the Mighty Max, I rebuilt the full head, tensioners, pulleys, uh, timing chain, everything pretty much mechanically that is not on the actual block or inside the actual block I should say on this one when I received uh, my Montero supposedly they had fixed it and probably less than 20 10, 10 to 20,000 miles so probably 15 20,000 miles in it's already going down the drain but yeah uh, as you can see it's nice and pretty this is the Starion head, so it does have the coated uh, valves and everything because these have a heat treated, from what I've read, the valves have a heat treated coating on that way they don't melt. Some people say it makes a difference, some people don't, don't think it does, but either way, I had it cleaned up, everything's adjusted, ready to go. And I tightened this down already, not too hard, but I don't want to get my valve cover dirty. <laughs> but yeah, just showing you that so far. This is, uh, like I said, this oil pan, oil pickup. And this is actually where on the regular non-turbos, right there would be where the dipstick would go and i don't even know if that's a plug or what's in there but it's deep in there i wasn't going to try and drill it out just to put a dipstick i'd rather have my buddy weld it on so so far uh, that has been the biggest issues with this swap everything else as far as i know should bolt up all the brackets are the same for the accessories power steering or actually that's alternator power steering over here uh, AC my truck did come with AC so that'll go down there and pretty much everything else bolts up the same on the Starion and the Montero I will have to convert this into a electric fuel pump 
So that's pretty simple to do. I just gotta make sure I get the correct pump. I already did it on this one. Since I did throw the Weber in there, you don't have to convert it uh, to electric fuel pump if you're gonna use the Weber. Some people say it's better. And well, I just went with it, test it out. I've never had to do it. So this one's gonna get the same treatment. I gotta find the correct fuel pump. And also another thing I've been doing since the truck is down, is I started taking out the dash. Uh, right now, it's just the easy stuff, which is center console, stereo, glove box, speedometer. I actually do need to change that cable. And I do need to repair this, which is the vents. Don't need air leaking out or leaking in. I have a few spots where it's got damage. So yeah, the back of my truck is uh, full of parts. But my heater core is disgusting on this thing. Now, I don't know if you guys could see. All right, I left the light on. But yeah, all that is damage from the heater core, from what I know and from what I could tell. And yeah, my truck did not have uh, the heater working properly. So, if I'm gonna be taking this out and about, I wanna be prepared for whether it's hot or it's cold. So, good heater would be nice. And getting the AC actually working would be even nicer. Because right now, uh, I forget exactly what day this is, but we are in June. And today it's supposed to be 100 degrees out here in Cali. Right there, you can see the sun. So yeah, we're already in the hundreds over here in California. 90s, hundreds. So hopefully I'll be done with my buddy's Suzuki engine tomorrow. Uh, by the end of the week for sure. Then I'll go drop it back into his and then continue working on mine. So I'll keep you guys updated if there's anything else. Oh yeah, besides uh, obviously the turbo engine, you do need the wiring harness, ECU, uh, I believe it's called the knock box for the knock sensors. And I think that might be it. This swap would be easier on a standard transmission, manual transmission, which is with the Mighty Max or Power Ram 4x4, Dodge Ram 50, D50, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, that one's standard. This one's automatic. Everything I was planning to do with that turbo engine was supposed to go to here. So now I'm switching everything up to this one. So just little little differences. So I'll keep you guys updated. You guys keep on wrenching. Have some fun.